Hello everybody and welcome to my Star Wars Battlefront Hero Guide using Luke Skywalker. So we're going to be going over Luke's powers and uh, what's my best way of playing him, really. Uh, but we're only going to be going against AI in this video. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about things like Hero Battle and uh, the uh, other mode, Heroes versus Villains, I believe. So as you saw there, Luke has three... Uh, powers that are mapped to buttons. He also has another one which is uh, the left trigger or uh, L2 on PlayStation controllers and that's how he uh, that's how you play him really. So left bumper is the force push, Y is the strong attack or heavy strike and right bumper is the saber rush which is kind of like a speed boost. Um, as you saw there I force pushed and then earlier you saw me use the uh, Blaster Bolt Deflection, which is the left trigger on Xbox. Uh, so basically, the best way of playing Luke is to be kind of not aggressive. You don't want to be aggressive unless you're battling against heroes. Uh, in this mode, you kind of want to play defensively, and um, that's Saber Rush. It can be used as an attack, or it can be used to uh, defensively escape or run towards the enemy. Uh, so as I was saying, as Luke, you want to kind of blast bolts as much as you can, run back, and then if you can get behind the enemy, start striking with right trigger, basic attack. Um, force push is, it has a, uh, a slightly less range than I wish. I mean, it's pretty far, but I wish I could push a guy across the map, you know. Um, the heavy strike is relatively only to be used on other heroes to break their, their blocking. Uh, such as the Emperor or Darth Vader. Boba Fett does not have a uh, block. Um, and then your block can work against uh, Darth Vader and Emperor as well, their attacks, as well as the regular bolts of Boba Fett. Uh, one thing about the blaster bolt deflection, it does not deflect rockets. You will get hit in the face. You gotta be very careful of that and deflecting those. Um, you cannot deflect them, basically. Uh, there's also other things like Cycler Rifle and um, what do you call the purple gun, the Plasma Cannon, I think, is something like that, or a Plasma Rifle. You have to be very careful with those. Those can also do heavy damage, and I don't believe you can block those. Um, so as you can see there, he's very quick, very quick. There's a rocket. Don't want to get hit by that. <clears throat> very quick character. He's not tanky. A lot of people might use them as a tank and run straight forward. You don't want to run straight forward. You want to time your attacks precisely, unlike how I do here. Um, my blocking is okay, but you see I get surrounded there. I don't know where I'm getting shot, so I can get shot from behind. When you're using that blaster bolt deflection, it will not block shots behind you. You have to be very aware of that and be very careful of your positioning. Positioning is very important for loot here. Uh, especially on a map like this where there's not really any corridors you can hide in and just lead all the enemies through one way you have to actually fight them all head on out here um, Luke is one of the few characters that has a high jump where he can get into uh, some places that normal characters like Luke or Leia cannot get into I think those are honestly the two characters that are the weakest in mobility anyways even though they run pretty quick <coughs> So as you can see here, utilizing the blaster bolt deflection, although running in for no reason, that wasn't very smart, I should have hung back, taken out the guys I could with the blaster bolt deflection, and then move in slowly. Uh, you want to keep an eye on your radar like any other mode, make sure you're aware of the battlefield. Uh, those shock troopers are fairly simple to take out with Luke, just blocking because they constantly are, are almost constantly shooting. So kind of being careful here, using some cover, uh, hanging back till I see some enemies. I see he's a rocket trooper. Make sure to take care of him swiftly. As you can see there, the force push doesn't have the greatest range. I also launched it straight into a box. This didn't help. Uh, getting hit from behind there. I'm not having very good awareness at this time. Uh, that guy was about to use a rocket on me, but I used the uh, saber rush. Saber Rush is, it's an attack, but it's not necessarily the best attack. It's a very good sneak attack move um, to jump in on an enemy and to catch up on them and possibly get an easy strike in. 
but I would save it for more so defense, running away from Darth Vader or uh, Emperor. Just because it's as soon as Darth Vader gets on your back, you can't do anything, you know? As you can see, that was probably the very farthest I could have used the Force Crush on that one enemy. It was not going to hit the guys behind him. So be aware of the range there. Um, as for things like Hero Hunt and uh, Hero Battle, and, and well, Hero Hunt, I guess, is a little different. In Hero Hunt, it's kind of the same thing as this, hanging out. Uh, be aware that your jump is really good against people just trying to smart rocket you on the ground. You might want to stay in an open area for that. Um, otherwise, you want to be blocking against their regular blaster bolts. Because, to think about it in a uh, normal way, you really have to trust that there's some dumb players in there. And when they run forward towards you, they're going to be shooting at you like crazy while the other ones are not. Just block your bolts into them. Uh, hero battle I think I'll discuss later. But for now, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And... Make sure to like the video if you liked uh, kind of going through how to play as Luke with me. And uh, subscribe to see more content. I'm going to be putting out a hero guide on each of the heroes. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.